The vast majority of analysis worldwide is done in Excel. But newer tools like NIME and Alteryx are bringing higher level analytics and machine learning to the masses. How do they compare to Excel, to each other? We'll stick around and find out which ones I think are best and which ones I'd recommend for you. Hey, if we haven't met yet, I'm the analytics dude. I put together videos and courses on getting started in data science and analytics and getting people to accept your data-driven recommendations. If that's the sort of thing you're interested in, please subscribe, check out my old YouTube videos, check out my courses on Udemy. Before we dive into the specifics of why I like Nine or Alteryx more, let's first discuss what they are. I like to refer to them as no-code tools, which means they do the same sort of thing that you do in R or Python writing code with a couple of pre-programmed nodes and drop-down menus and point-and-click menus. Make sense? Well, if not, here's a quick example of what a workflow looks like. You see, each one of these boxes is a step that would normally be two, three, four lines of code, but here you can see how they connect to each other, where the data flows, and where it ultimately ends up. But for most non-data scientists, the question is not, should I use Alteryx or Nime? The question is, why should I use anything other than Excel? Well, it turns out there are a ton of reasons. Reason number one is size. If you're dealing with large data, Excel is flat out incapable or painful. Sure, you could do something with more than 20,000 rows, but it's slow and gets hung up and freezes. You'll have yourself questioning your sanity by the time you're done. Second, and at least as big, is repeatability. How many times have you worked in Excel, done a lot of calculations, transformations, some pivot tables, some lookups, only to realize that you needed to do it all over again once the input changed? If you did that in NIME or Excel, all you would do is change the input file, click Run, and then you're done. Third, Excel is an accounting tool, not a statistics tool. I've seen statistical outputs, such as linear regression, in Excel that's flat out wrong. Sure, it was probably operator error, but it's a lot easier to have operator error when you're using a tool for something that it wasn't originally designed to do. And fourth, when you're combining two large spreadsheets where you need data from both, it's basically impossible or very difficult to do in Excel. Index match and VLOOKUP are okay, but they have real issues. On the other hand, when you're using a SQL style join in NIME or Alteryx, it's very easy to use and works flawlessly. So if you are going to use a no-code tool, which one should you use, Alteryx or Nime? Here's the part where I should probably mention there are other tools, like RapidMiner. But in my opinion, Nime and Alteryx are so far ahead of the competition, it's not worth it to waste time on the others. So how will we evaluate them against each other? Well, we're going to be thorough. We're looking at seven categories. Data cleaning, data exploration, data modeling, machine learning, flexibility, community, support, and don't forget cost. In Alteryx, when you click Run, it runs the entire workflow. If you want to only run one node at a time, there's not really a way to do that without disabling large portions of your workflow. Where in NIME, you can choose to run individual nodes or just the entire thing at once. Also, in Alteryx, you have to add a Browse node every single time you want to see the results coming out of a section, where in NIME, all you have to do is right-click and you can see the table coming out. So let's chalk Data Exploration up as a win for NIME. Nine uses two nodes, Math Formula and Rule Engine, to take the place of only one node in Alteryx, which is the Formula node. And to be honest, the two nodes combined don't do the job as well as Alteryx. Alteryx also has the Select node, which easily changes data types from one to another. There's nothing quite comparable in Alteryx, though there's string to number and string to date. None of them are as effective or as efficient as the Select node. Though, to be fair, Nine guesses what type of data it is correctly the first time way more frequently than Alteryx. Alteryx also has a node called data cleaning, which isn't quite as useful as it sounds, but it is still a nice way of dealing with missing data. All these combined, chalk data cleaning up as a win for Alteryx. Alteryx has built-in capability to use just about any type of data you'll ever come across. Beyond Excel, CSVs, TXTs, you can use geographic data, SAS data sets, really just about anything. Nine is a little more restrictive in terms of base capability with data types, but you can use just about everything with the right add-in. In fact, there's other add-in nodes from third-party sources that allow you to do a great deal of things that you can't quite do in Alteryx. Because Alteryx has more out of the box, I'm going to grade this one a draw, despite the fact that with Nine you can ultimately add more functionality. There's something to be said for, it just works out of the box, and there's also something to be said for, well, I can get anything to work here. I recently came back to Alteryx after a multi-year absence, and their machine learning capabilities are much improved. They have some easy-to-use models and some simple and easy-to-read reporting. That being said, 
Nine really shines in its machine learning capabilities. Models run faster for one, and some larger models that I couldn't even run in Alteryx pose no problems in Nine. It's easier to tune and maintain models as well. Nine posts the win here, but it's a lot closer than it used to be. The community around a program is actually kind of a big deal. I don't care what platform you're watching this on, whether it's your iPhone, your TV, Roku, whatever, I guarantee you the software engineers who worked on that look stuff up on a forum like Stack Overflow. Yes, they're pros, but even pros need to Google things from time to time. While neither NIME nor Alteryx are even in the same league as R or Python in this respect, NIME does have a clear advantage in terms of community. In some respects, I'm part of the NIME community with my YouTube tutorials and the Udemy course that I wrote. If that's something you're interested in, there's a link below in the description to take it for only about 10 bucks or so. Great deal, in my opinion. Alteryx is a clear winner in terms of support. Now remember, they're a for-profit company, so they have people supporting it. But here's the thing. It's not like calling the IT help desk. These people are actually good. I had a lot of troubles with the Alteryx installation on my work laptop. Not Alteryx's fault, it's, it's really our internal systems. And IT spent a day or so troubleshooting, they couldn't figure anything out. I emailed Alteryx, and within an hour I was up and running. NIME, on the other hand, is freeware, so you're not really going to get support from employees. They do, however, monitor and respond to the community rather well. The last category, cost, is actually where I think we see the biggest difference between the two products. Alteryx is a for-profit company that's trying to make a profit. It is a premium product, and that means it has a premium price tag. The level of support they provide, the account executives, all of those things cost money, so they justify their premium price tag, but it is still objectively expensive. The price of Alteryx is actually how I found Nine. I wanted to work on a side consulting project and use Alteryx for it, but it turns out the annual license for Alteryx would have been more than my fees for the project. Looked around a bit, talked to some people, found Nine, which is free, so that made it an easy choice for that. As you've been going through this video, you may have come to the conclusion that looking at Alteryx versus Nine is like looking at iPhone versus Android. Alteryx is like an iPhone. It's a premium product and it's expensive, but it looks great, works great, and works out of the box but unfortunately, it can't really do anything that the company didn't design it to do. Nime, on the other hand, is like Android. Free, open source, lots of other people can make stuff for it, but it's not really as clean, easy to use, or as curated an experience as, as Alteryx is. So what's the bottom line, the conclusion, which one is best? Well, here's a consultant answer for you. It depends. The differences between these two programs are minor compared to the differences between them in Excel, or SAS, or Python. If you're running an enterprise, you'll probably choose Alteryx due to the support level it provides. And that's okay. It's a great tool that's even easier to use than Nine. If you're a smaller organization without a large IT department or an independent practitioner, you'll probably choose Nine due to the cost. And that's also okay. It's a really great tool and it's frankly amazing that it's still free. I've used both in my work and I'll probably continue to use both, but you really can't go wrong with either. Just slightly different use cases. If you're looking to get started using Nime, I have my Udemy course, which is a curated experience that will walk you through the very basics up to completing some machine learning models. Also, I have some YouTube tutorials on here that can help get you started. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're interested in more content. Until next time, it's the Analytics Dude. Thanks for watching.